Let's take a look at how you can take an email and turn it into tasks in a task list in Google Tasks. First, I will find the email in my inbox or wherever it is in my email. And now I want to show tasks on the right. So if I don't see the task button along the side, I'm going to click on the arrow in the bottom right to open up the side panel. And then I will click on tasks so that tasks opens up. I'm going to create a new list for these tasks. I'm going to call it demo list for now. And now I have my new list here. I'm going to take this email and drag it over and drop it to create a new task list. If it's hard to get it to click and drag like that, I can also select the email, click on the more options at the top, and then say add to tasks. And what I'll get then is an item in my task list that actually links to this email. So anytime I need to get back to it, wherever I can view tasks, so in Google Calendar, in Google Mail, in Google Docs, Sheets, Slides, mobile apps, I can click on this to open up the email directly from here. But I want to go one step farther. I actually want to get all of these numbered list items from my email and copy them out and put them in my task list. So I'm going to highlight them and copy them. I'm going to come over to my task list here and use the keyboard shortcut Control V on Windows or Command V on Mac and paste in my list items. Once I've done that, every single thing I just copied, because it's in a numbered list, becomes a separate item on my task list here. Now the next thing I want to do is actually turn these subtasks into subtasks. And because I just pasted it in, I can't do it by editing it. This would create subtasks on this. But if I want to turn it into a subtask of the task one here, I can use the keyboard shortcut. And on Windows, that's control square bracket. On Mac, it's command square bracket. And if I go down the list here, starting from the first subtask, and I go down and click on each one and use that shortcut, command or control and the square bracket, it's indenting all these tasks now, if I want to put any due dates on any of the tasks here or any of the subtasks, I can click on any individual item in this list. So I'm going to start with the top one, click on the pencil, and then I can add a date. So I can put a date and whatever time I want this item to be completed, click OK, and it would assign it. And I can do it to the main tasks or I can do it on a subtask. So if I have a specific subtask that I want done at a specific time, I can specify that in the dates here. Now as a note, when you do the option for date and time, you're only going to see repeat or subtasks. So an individual task cannot repeat and have subtasks. It's one or the other. So if you don't see repeat, you probably have a subtask on that item. If you don't see the subtask option, you'll probably have repeat on that. So now if I'm working on a, a part of these tasks in a Google Doc, for example, I can open up my task list on the right. And again, if I don't see this task button, I just click on the bottom little triangle show side panel, click on task, and all my task lists open up. I can switch between the task lists to do whichever one I need to do here. And as I'm working on these, if I want to view that original email, I can find the little button here with the envelope on it, click on it, and that original email will open up directly, which is a really great way to get back to that email that told you what you needed to do. When I finish any task, I can check it off. If I check off a main task with subtask, that checks off all of the subtasks. So I want to start with subtasks if I haven't completed the entire main task yet. And as I check all these things off, I'll see they go to a list in the bottom of completed tasks. And if you have separate lists, if you have separate lists in the drop down here, these functions, the completed list is just for this specific list, my demo list of tasks. If I accidentally checked one, I can click on the check from the completed list to bring it back up into my list. If I want to view these by due dates, let's say I want to switch the order to see what I have to do today or right now, I can click on the option up in the top, the more option and click to view these lists tasks in date order. And when I do that, anything without a date is gonna list up in the bottom. Even if it's a subtask, it's still gonna be disassociated from a main task and organized by date. Anything today would be at the top. Anything that I missed would be above that even. So a past task that I've missed would kind of be in red at the top. When I'm done viewing them by date order, I can switch back to my order to see them associated back in a list order.
Now I can't drag any of these items out into my document here. They just work within the lists in the tasks here. If I wanted to copy any text out, I could copy it out and then paste it into a doc if I needed to do that from an individual item. In Google Calendar, any tasks that you scheduled with a date and a time or an all day date will appear so long as your My Calendar's tasks is on. So it's checked to on. So if that is on, you're going to see items from all of your tasks list. All of the ones that are scheduled will appear in your main calendar as a task there. And this is a really great functionality because you can drag them around here. If it comes to be the time for you to do one of these items and you're like, yeah, it's not going to happen today, click and drag it to tomorrow and it will reschedule it and redate it in the task lists everywhere. So in your Gmail, the way tasks appear there, even lists on your mobile device will also show that new date. If you want to rename the list you're working in, you can use the more options in the list and rename that particular list. If you get a lot of these completed tasks at the bottom and you want to get rid of them, you can also delete them from delete all completed tasks or delete the whole list if you just finished them all or don't need it anymore from a specific task in the top right of the option where you can delete that task if you don't need it anymore. And then it won't go to completed, it'll just be gone. If you want to check out other ways you can use keyboard shortcuts with the tasks, you can again click on the more options and keyboard shortcuts will open up the keyboard shortcuts specific to tasks. So in calendar, if you have your task calendar turned on, checked, you can also click to create a task right from calendar just by clicking on the date and time you want it to be created, clicking on task and giving it a title, date and time, picking which task list you want it to appear on and saving it from calendar. You can click on any of the tasks and click on mark complete to complete it right here in your calendar. On mobile, if you have the tasks app on iPhone or Android, you can view your tasks in there. Just as a note, they don't show up in the Google Calendar app on either device, only in tasks app on mobile. So get the tasks app and when you open it, you can switch between your lists in the bottom. You can use the plus button on the bottom to add new tasks, add dates and times, fill in the details however you need to, and click save. You can check off items on your mobile app by either sliding right or you can just check on the box. The sort options are available in mobile as well through the buttons on the bottom right. The three buttons down there allows you to change your sort back and forth and the same options as on desktop. For a comparison of other Google Task Lite tools, Google Tasks, Reminders from Calendar, and Google Keep, see the slides in the description.